In the previous video, I used Daniel Smith's secondary set for the first time. Now I'm trying out some mixes with them. These are Undersea Green, Quinacridone Burnt Orange, and Carbazol Violet, along with M. Graham's Sepia and Payne's Gray. Instead of mixing in palette, I decided to mix on paper. I think it results in an interesting look. After the mixing, I went on to paint a quick piece. Stay tuned, as they used to say in pre-internet days. It's still wet here, but you'll see it dry in tres, dos, uno. Gotta love the near inkiness these neutrals give to the colors. One thing I want to point out is the pigmentation of the purple. If you aren't careful, you can easily overload your brush with carbazole violet, so be prepared. Another thing I want to point out, green, orange, and purple are included on the list of traditional Mexican colors. So pull that out when someone asks if you learned anything on YouTube today. Thank you. 
We'll skip through some of this footage. My penciling wasn't dark enough to show up well anywho. So, what shall we talk about? I spy with my little eye something that starts with the letter S. It's sandstone by Clean Color Nail Lacquer, which you would never have guessed since it looks more like a champagne or a blush, neither of which start with S. Is it from the same set of six colors as the last two? Mm-hmm. Am I going to milk that purchase for all it's worth? Oh yeah. I don't often do this sort of wet on wet wash. It's not my jam, but I enjoy using the flat brush for background work. I'm really glad I chose to go with full pans rather than half pans. It would be cool if there were a larger option as well. I understand Windsor and Newton used to sell large cakes in individual ceramic pans, but they discontinued those a while back.
I can't look at this without recalling the scene from The Three Amigos of the boys sitting around their campfire, munching on roasted bats and singing Blue Shadows. Come to think of it, didn't the movie poster have a purple evening sky with an orange horizon sunset? I suspect undersea green isn't quite the right shade for a cactus, but what do I know? Certainly not why they're on the official Daniel Smith logo. I mean, they're a Seattle company, right? They've got some explaining to do. But I refuse to let the Pacific Northwest cacti conundrum keep me up nights. So yeah, this is my second video trying out Daniel Smith's secondary set, and I can say that I do like these paints. Since the other Daniel Smith colors I have are quite bright yellows, reds, and blues, it's nice to have these less blinding hues. I may not have shown them at their best here, but I think you have an idea of how they play.
I've said it before, I have a problem with my value range, and it really shows in this piece. It's practically screaming for darker tones. Let this be a lesson to the value timid. Maybe I'll do another version sometime and see if I can improve on it. I'm happy to share this exploration of the mixing possibilities of Daniel Smith's secondary set with neutral colors. Until next time, stay artsy, mi amigos. <laughs> Shadows on the trail